Welcome to the Mega Meeple. This is a Kickstarter preview. And this is Ninja Monkeys put out by Radiant Games. And of course, uh, I will put a link to the uh, Kickstarter page in the description of this video. Now, this is a prototype that was uh, provided to me. And you know how Kickstarter works. This is subject to change. Uh, additions, improvements, so forth. This is a uh, strategy card game uh, for families. And you can play with uh, your children as well. And uh, the cute thing about this is uh, it's from pillow forts and lava floors and monsters under the bed. Uh, and this is a very family-friendly, uh, children-friendly strategy game. As you can see, the, the artwork is sort of like a cartoon style. And, uh, I mean, if, for, for a game that uh, you're playing with uh, your children, you know, the artwork doesn't need to be, you know, blowing your eyeballs out. So, it, it it's definitely uh, caters to uh, families and, and families with children. And the quality of the cards are very good. It's, you know, very good and sturdy cardstock. It's not, it's not flimsy paper. Now... To start, uh, the, the dealer shuffles the deck and deals five cards to each player. Now, each turn, a player draws one card from the draw pile, and they may use the abilities of any of the green cards showing in their yard, and their yard is basically the cards in front of them. Now, the green cards are played face up in the new stack in your yard, and the red cards are played uh, face up in a new stack in another player's yard. Now, blue cards are placed face up on top of the discard pile. Now, playing a blue card will not af affect a player if it contradicts a card already showing in their yard. But you must also wait after playing the blue card to see if someone wants to put a brain freeze card on it. Now, brain freeze pauses the play until such time that everyone who wants to put a brain freeze on the pile has done so. Now for the uh, case of cards contradicting, if a player has a blanky cloak of invisibility card and uh, you play a bedtime drama, that player does not have to discard any cards. Now if someone plays a give me five card on you and you only have like three cards, well then you have to give them all three cards. Sorry. And if you have a tree house in your yard and someone plays a card like pick up your toys then you do not have to remove it but you will have to remove the other cards as well now for scoring each green card showing in your yard counts as one point in your favor each red card showing in your yard counts as one point against you now cards covered by other cards do not count towards or against you for example if you have five green cards showing and two red cards are showing you have three points now some cards count as two points and are noted on the card so in this case that boss teddy will negate two of your green cards and in, in this particular uh, scenario you only have the one green card left and one point and the first player that has five or more points wins the game so who is this game for? Well, obviously, any family with children, because uh, the, the artwork, the mechanics, the, the rules are real easy for children to understand and play. The gameplay goes rather quickly, so the children stay engaged the entire time. So it's fun for the entire family.